Hey guys, welcome back to the village. My name is Ashante. I will be your host today. As you see, I have my cute little puppy dog, Miss Rebecca, with us. And I'm just missing one person. Miles! Yes! <laughs> segment called bedtime stories we're going to introduce books that we are really enjoying as a family and hope that you can use them with your family to help diversify your readings um, we all have heard that representation matters and we want to make sure that we're getting books into the hands of your kids that show people that look like them doing things that they think are awesome things that they would like to do when they get older or just magical things that they wish they could do so when we first start off, we're going to start with something that's near and dear to both of our hearts, which are mermaids. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's a little silly, dude. Mermaids. You know, whenever you see mermaids, usually it's a white mermaid with red hair. And there's nothing wrong with that, but... There has to be more than that. And so we're going to introduce two books that we're reading right now that have brown lead mermaids. The first book that we're going to introduce is actually called Rise of the Jumbies. And we got this from the library, which is why that's there. But as you can see, there is a brown mermaid with a brown little girl. And when you come to the back, there are one, two, three, four more brown mermaids. So um, this book is chock full of beautiful chocolate mermaids. Now, Miley, do you want to tell us a little bit about the book, or should I do it? You haven't read the book. I haven't read all of it, so. I read all of it. She read all of it, like, four times. <laughs> tell us about it. So, there's Corinne. Corinne. She is this little girl. So, the main girl is Corinne. Then, Buka. Buka. Which is who? This little girl. And that's her brother. Mm-hmm. And... I forgot the other girl's name. That's fine. And the girl, the other girl's name. That's okay. And Madame Dali. Okay, so this is Mama Zalu. So, Patel goes from here. Mm hmm Keep following my finger. Mm hmm Keep following my finger. She has a really long tail. Keep following my finger. Keep following my finger. Keep following my finger. We get it, dude. She has a long <laughs> tail. <laughs> Golly. Okay, so tell us about this. And then... So, Madame Dooley okay. have been kidnapping children. Oh. Oh my gosh, we got our own sound effects. <laughs> okay, so she's kidnapping children. And so, Corin rattled out there just to chest high. Okay. And Madame Dooley took her tail, wrapped it around her, and pulled her into the Corin. Okay. So, so the other boy, so the brothers and the and her friend came. Okay. And so they had to find a uh, jewel for Madame Dooley. Oh, so this is where the adventure is really beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're all under sea doing this. Mm -hmm. And if you listen, Corinne and um, Buku, they have um, African and uh, I think it's island names. The author, her name is Tracy Baptiste. She actually is from Trinidad. There we go. She's actually from Trinidad. And so she says in here that she has these influences of Caribbean and West African mythology and fables. So um, that's all through here with the wording, with what they say, who they call as their mother. Uh, it's really good. It is a suspense read. Um, it has a lot of, uh, what do we call it, cliffhangers. And it's really good. Now, it is a bit thick. So if you're one of those that does like a chapter a day or a night, you'll be going through it for a while. But it's a really good read. Like I said, she read it four times on her own. All right, you want to introduce the second book? The second book is Bad Mermaids Make Waves. Bad Mermaids Make Waves. As you can see, we also got this from our library. Um, there's three mermaids there. Middle girls, our brown girl. And uh, we have our two friends there with green hair, which is awesome. All right, so this book we're actually working on right now. We're reading it now, so I could talk a little bit more about this book, right? This book, the mermaids get to have a summer at land, not a summer at sea, a summer at land where they could see what it's like to have legs. But while these mermaids are at land, uh, the 
queen mermaid is actually fishnapped. Once again, we have kidnapping happening. So those mermaids have to go back to help the kingdom and see what's going on, okay? Miley is going to read you part of her favorite part. All of it. Part of her favorite part thus far. Okay, let, let's do a back story. So this part, the mermaids have left from land and they're in the sea and we're following them and it says, okay, now you've reached a part where only no legs beyond this part, basically. And they say, okay, you can only go across if you know mermaid language. And then it starts to speak in mermaid language. All right, what you got in mermaid language? <laughs> Fin tail bot, man scoot, bell fun, water walk, scene um, litton whoop, fop, cop, 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 tim bottle bot, sunset, bell fun. Okay. Go up, man. No, stop. <laughs> It's not a like a long chapter on that. It's literally just like a page. But yes, it has a lot of fun, silly stuff in it thus far. And, and we like stop, please. We like this book as well. It does have some cliffhangers. It has some silly parts. We haven't yet finished it, so we definitely will let you know in the next video what we think about it. Now, um, like I said, we got both of those from the library. I encourage you if you're like I would like to read that book. Ask your local library if they have it. If they don't have it, request it. It's really important that we... Please stop. It's really important that we support authors who are making books for our kids. This author is Sybil Ponder. I don't think I'm saying that right. No, I got it. Sib Sybil Ponder. And um, some beautiful illustrations in here and some funnies as well. Uh, we actually have on our next to read book, once we finish that, this here, Jada Jones, Rockstar, another one from our library. This actually follows a young lady, Miss Jada Jones, who thinks that there is nothing better than rocks. And she is trying to teach her friends why geology is so cool. So that's what we'll be reading next. And when we come back with our next bedtime story, we'll be able to tell you all about it. Okay, I really hope you guys like this video. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> God. I really like I really hope you guys like this video. If so, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you read any of these books, please let me know in the comments what you think about them so that way we can kind of start our own little book club here. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a great, great night because I am tired and ready for bed. All right, guys. Subscribe to Gaming Good Miles and Mommy channel, please. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>